Hey guys, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to take you through a day in my life at Columbia Law School. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is throw on a vinyl. Then I brush my teeth, take a shower, and pick out something to wear. Before I get dressed, I do a quick mindfulness meditation. A mindfulness meditation. At this point, I usually make breakfast, but because I was running late, I decided to just grab a Red Bull for later, I promise it's for later, and just grab an apple for the road. Most days I leave the house before 7 o'clock. Even though I get to school extra early, I beat rush hour traffic. Today, I failed. Alright y'all, so I just got a parking spot parked on 111. That's how far down I have to go in school. Well, the law school is on 116 and Amsterdam on 116. So, heading to my first class. First class of the day is real estate transactions. At the law school, we call this building Big Warren. As I was leaving class, a friend gave me her old professional responsibility, Annie. E&Es are really helpful when it comes to learning the rule of law in a specific area and also when it comes to doing hypotheticals and different kinds of practice questions. Now I'm headed down Amsterdam because I needed to get some materials bound. Those two uh, easier to read and this one is the strongest one, but then it doesn't lay flat as you can see. Okay, yeah. what these do? I'll go with this one then. Okay. This is the other law school building. This building only houses law school courses as opposed to the other building, which we share with the business school and I don't know who else, but it's not just the law school. Oh, no, my thing. Yeah. 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 Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. This is the law school library. I usually don't study here, but because it's so cold, I didn't want to walk to another school. Fortunately, I was able to find a little cubicle in the cut. You guys are always asking us about different supplies that we use for studying. Here's what I keep in my backpack. Firstly, I have a federal income tax E&E. It's a little early to be using this, but I just keep it in my backpack just in case. Here's my actual federal income tax book. I scanned it and bound it. I did not buy it. I take most of my notes on my laptop, and of course I need my laptop charger. I always keep at least two colored highlighters in addition to a pen so I can differentiate in my notes. Now, I'm doing some scheduling. As soon as I get myself situated, I schedule out my day so I know exactly what I have planned and to look forward to. Oh, 
Good, Destiny. Good, Destiny. Heavens. Good, man. How's it going? Good. How you been? How you been? Hey, Shane. Wow. I know what you're thinking. So many black people in one class, right? Don't get it twisted. It's just a Black Law Students Association meeting. Hey, press. <laughs> to anyone who's interested, the Paul Robinson Conference is actually open to the public. And as you can see here, it's on March 1st. About abolitionism, right, or to learn about. Well, three of that came back for the one else who don't know them. So definitely come out. Come out to the Paul Robinson Conference. Hey! <laughs> My second class of the day is federal income tax. It's huge. No exaggeration. There are probably more than 100 students in the class. But as you will see later, classes get even bigger than that. Anyway, the professor cold calls in this class. His cold call method is kind of unique as he split the class into threes and cold calls based on alphabetical order. I don't really know a lot of people in this class except for the black people. And as you can see, they sit all the way back there. an example of how my notes look after a reading and before I brief it. Here's a quick example of a short brief. Hey Davia. Back in this classroom again. My final class of the day is criminal adjudication. This is a class that I was saying earlier was huge. Like, I mean, there are probably 200 people in this class. I sat all the way in the back because I must admit, I was trying to slide out a little early. I'm reviewing all of my notes and compiling them into a document that could be digestible for me in the morning. For example, I take all of this information and put it into a short document. This is also super helpful when I go to start my outlines. I was so tired, but I still, you know, got it done. This is also when I write down any questions that I have about today's information in case I want to follow up with a professor in his or her office hours. Time for bed. So for anyone who kept asking what a day in our life was like from beginning when I wake up to the end when I go to sleep, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see from the last clip, it's about 2 a.m. and I'm about to 
head to sleep and do it all over again tomorrow. But before I go to bed, I'm going to quickly read about 20 minutes from this book, which is a book I'm reading for a book club. Um, I like to do some leisurely reading if I have time in the nighttime, just to have something different on my mind when I go to bed. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And